picking up trash, sweeping, picking up trash, sweeping some more, more trash, more trash, more trash. Joyce Childress Red is one of dozens who pitched in to clean up Chickasaw Park. I was really impressed with the number of adults who came, and especially the children, I mean, from four years old, five years old, on up to high school. Olmstead Parks Conservancy organized the event as a way to honor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. A cool quote that he said once was that a, a vital question that we always need to be asking each other is, what are you doing for others? And um, that's really the definition of service. This isn't just about sprucing up the park. It's also a chance for people to meet each other and to learn the history of Chickasaw Park. This was the only park where blacks could go to at that time. Chickasaw Park was designed during segregation, built exclusively for African Americans. As I got older, I questioned it. And that's when I think I started doing the civil rights movement mm -hmm. and marches and sit-ins and things like in protests. Red says she has wonderful memories at the park. We raced, we ran, uh, we go down to the river. It looks always a lot of fun, a lot of good memories here. That's why she's back decades later helping keep Chickasaw beautiful. I do not live in the West End anymore, but I still have a great connection to the West End, and I still come down here in the summertime. Carolyn Callahan, WLKY News.